guys, today I'm gonna teach you a little thing or two about how to draw animals. So let's get started. As you can see, I've already designed six circles to be the foundation of the head of a character. You can do ovals, squares and so many other forms as well, but let's focus on circles. After you have drawn uh, your circles, you draw two intersecting lines which together creates a cross. Remember that the lines will have different roundness as soon as your character turns its head. I will demonstrate how the head can look from different angles. First we have from the front, right side, left side, upward to the left, upwards to the right, and down. After you have completed these steps, it's time to add the eyes. Draw two ovals on either side of the diagonal line. Remember that the bottom of the eye will rest against the horizontal line. When you're done with the oval for the eyes, you can place the pupils down at the horizontal line. If you draw your character a bit cross-eyed, the character will appear even sweeter and cuter in the end. And do not forget to add highlight to the eyes. Place the eyebrows where you believe they will fit the best. You can customize your eyebrows for your character and for its current mood. To center the eye, add eyelids. This is easily created by drawing a line in the shape of an oval circle from the bottom of the eye to the upper corner of the eyebrow. Now you have the foundation to be able to draw almost all animals. Here comes the part which separate most animals from each other and it's their nose and their mouth. Here you will see me draw four new circles to show how you can customize a nose and mouth for your different animals. By drawing a pointing upturned nose you can create the basis for a mouse or maybe even a fox. A short nose may become the basis for a cat or a rabbit. Or a long pointing snout can be the beak of a duck or a goose. With a rectangular shape you can make the base for a dog or a cow. Stay tuned for the next part where I will be going through a little bit more. And just like always here are some previous videos you can check out and comment down below if there is any tutorials you want to see or anything you want to learn. I'm here to help and I see you in the next video. Bye guys!